Let's talk about the concept of cardinality in uh, schemas. Cardinality is just really a fancy way of saying minimum and maximum number of a particular element that's allowed to occur. And you can imagine that I might want to have rules that say this element is optional. In other words, it doesn't have to occur, or it can. It's allowed to be there, but it can be also missing. Or I might want to say that this element is required, which means it has to be there, has, has to be there at least once. And I might also want to be able to say it can be there as many times as I want it to be. So I can say it can be there one time. I can say there it must be there two times and only two times. I can say it must be there two times and up to a maximum of however many times you want. Those are all rules that I want to be able to specify. Now, um, before I start, I should make it clear that the rules of cardinality for attributes are really very simple because attributes can't repeat. Either an attribute is optional or it's required. That's, it's as simple as that. Optional means the attribute doesn't have to be there. Required means the attribute does have to be there. So most of what we're going to talk about really applies to, um, applies to elements much more so than to attributes, which have a very simple model for, um, for cardinality. So let's go back over to our, um, our articles XSD, and I'll start talking to you about how cardinality is represented on this diagram. So first of all, we sh you should note the difference between this thin line here. Can you see that thin line there that's kind of sketched in versus this thick line up here? The thick line means the element that's attached to the thick line is required. The thin line means the element that's attached to the thin line is optional. In an attribute, it's kind of hard to see. You might not even be able to see it here. I just made that, ap that, that, that attribute optional. And you can see that the mandatory element has a bold outline, and the optional attribute has a thinner outline. Sometimes, to tell you the truth, I can't really see that difference. And so I always just right-click on it and see. If the optional button is checked, then it's optional. If the optional button isn't checked, then it's mandatory. OK, so bold lines represent mandatory, thin lines represent optional. So how about um, if I want to go more than one of that element? Down here you see these numbers, and when you see numbers, those numbers represent the minimum and maximum. This one has a bold line, so we know it's, so we know it's um, uh, mandatory, which means it can't be zero, ele zero elements named item under the info type. Um, it has to be at least one, and then this number over here, that's the maximum number, and that maximum number at this, uh, in this case says infinity, which um, in practical terms means as many as you want. I'm not going to put an upper bound on that. It's going to be unbounded. So this little definition here says between one and as many as you want item elements are allowed under the info type. This one under he over here says, by, by virtue of the thin line, says you can either have one sources element under about or no sources element under about. And that's those are the basic rules of cardinality. If I want to get more explicit about it, I can click on the item, go over here to this little attributes view, which will pin with that little pin, I'll pin it on so it doesn't go away, and you can see that minimum and maximum are listed here as well. And so if I want to be more specific, like I want to say between 4 and 56, I can do that, and now I'll see that I need between 4 and 56 items. Less than 4 items is going to be not valid. More than 56 item item tags is going to be not valid. So let me go take that back before I forget. It, it makes everything else messed up. And that's the that's the basic story with cardinality. It's really it's really not that that um, hard to understand. And the symbology for it inside of Oxygen is pretty straightforward, with the possible exception of the fact that sometimes you can't really tell the thin lines from the bold lines.